It's not uncommon when you are working in InDesign to be faced with a document that has multiple pages and spreads throughout it. So what I want to do for this lesson is show you how you can zoom and pan around and jump from page to page here within InDesign. Probably the most common way that you will navigate a document uh, if you've been using doc or InDesign for a little while is by using the horizontal and vertical scroll bar. So here if I use the vertical scroll bar, it'll take me down to the second page. And if I use the horizontal, I can kind of scroll from side to side there. And that's one way to do it, but not very practical if you have a document with multiple pages and you want to scroll down to uh, page 15, then it's not as efficient as some other ways I'm going to show you here in InDesign. Another way that you may want to do it is by using the grapper hand tool or the hand tool located over here in the tools palette. I can select it there or I can use a couple of keyboard shortcuts. I can select the alt spacebar key to temporarily change my mouse to the grapper hand tool or I can use the spacebar by itself to utilize the hand tool and this allows me to pan around my document or a particular spread within my document but again not very efficient if you have multiple pages and you want to end up on page 15 or whatever it is but there is a much more efficient way to do that and I can jump over to the pages palette and expand it by clicking on the icon and we'll notice that there is a vertical scroll bar here so I can see many different pages in my spread so if I want to jump down to section 2 page 13 I can just double click it and I know I'm on that page because it'll be highlighted in blue and the section for the page will be highlighted in black. So here if I highlight this, it's a blue, but I'm not on that page until it's highlighted in black. While I'm here, I'm going to show you a little advanced trick that'll give you a much easier way to navigate multiple pages here in your palette. So what I want to do is come up and select the palette menu icon and come down to panel these are panels typically uh, in prior versions they were palettes and I'm going to unselect the show vertically option under the pages option and click OK and that's going to stack all of my pages next to each other making it a little bit easier and I can of course expand this panel so I have less vertical scrolling that needs to happen here and I can easily just double click and jump down to whatever page or spread I need to. There is yet another way that we can navigate throughout this document and that's by going up to the layout menu selecting that and here we'll see options for jumping to the first page which is shift control page up. There's also the previous page, the next page which is shift page down, last page, shift control page down, and alt page, previous. Uh, I can also jump to a page or go back or forward to a page or jump around from spread to spread. So let's try that. If I want to go to the next page in my document, I might hit page down and here I'm jumping from page to page or I can hit shift control page down to jump to the last or shift control page up to jump to the first or control J to bring up the go to page dialog and then I can select the page I want to go to and click OK and this is actually the way that you might want to consider doing it especially when you have large documents and if you're working in InDesign a lot you know that you're going to be jumping from page to page a thousand times over again so learning the keyboard shortcut for jumping through page or spread within your document 
will teach you to become most efficient using InDesign CS5.